It's quiet in here now, but it isn't always that way. Last summer, Peggy was scheduled for surgery. The doctor was knowledgeable, experienced, but had never done this particular surgery before. There were some unexpected complications. Low blood pressure, internal bleeding. This resulted in Peggy's death on the operating table. The happy ending is that Peggy is a surgical simulator. The doctor at the Quillen College of Medicine reviewed the surgery with the student. The surgeon performed the surgery again and again, both times successfully. This student is learning through experience. The Quillen College of Medicine at East Tennessee State University is in the early planning stages on a center for experiential learning. This is a place where old-fashioned, hands-on learning can combine with modern communications and bring these experiences to the region and the rest of the world. This training isn't just for students. It's part of the professional healthcare culture of lifelong learning. Because healthcare keeps changing. Since 1979, 14 new viruses have been identified. Four strands of avian flu have just materialized. There have been rapid advances in the treatment of heart disease. Diagnostic tools have advanced tenfold. New medicines and treatments are being developed daily. This information comes from research from our universities and private corporations. And we must get that information into the hands of the healthcare professionals who are out there every day with patients. MDs and nurses are required to take continuing education to keep them current and licensed. We're looking for a place where students and professionals can get information, where uh, doctors, nurses, and healthcare professionals can gain current medical knowledge, and where the power of broadband communications can broadcast this lesson any place, any time. A doctor in rural Appalachia has a case that's puzzling him. Puzzling cases are that way because the symptoms are outside the doctor's experience. Doctors typically have access to reference materials to aid in diagnosis, journals, articles, and documents. But you can't learn everything from a book. Imagine not just reading about a surgery, but seeing it performed as many times as necessary and with commentary by a surgeon. The case in rural Appalachia has a better probability of success since the doctor has actually seen the treatment and outcomes. In your case, I'm going to recommend surgery. And that recommendation is based on experience. Experience that was gained by watching medical practice remotely, anytime, anywhere. The combination of broadband applications and advancing medical practice can combine to create a world leader in medical training and experiential learning. Because experience really is the best teacher. Some things do best when left alone. Other things have to be designed, planned, and built if they're going to exist at all. At ETSU, we're planning a state-of-the-art center for experiential learning and we are asking for your help. It's a bold move in these troubled times, but the Quillen College of Medicine isn't standing by. We're planning for a new era with a multidisciplinary healthcare training facility. There will be a surgical theater and several auditoria for conferences and presentations. Users will be able to see specific surgeries or be briefed on the latest findings. And all of this will be at the start of a digital pipeline. Delivers content anytime, anywhere. We're asking for your help in making this a reality.